Welcome back to Samster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play a brand new war game called Flashpoint Campaign's Southern Store. Now this is a we go war game which means you will give out your orders and then everything will be happening both at the same time. So you can play either in the campaign, you can play the big rig one, the TZ campaign or Panzer leader. We're gonna be focusing on the Czechoslovakian army but we're not gonna be focusing playing the campaign. Instead we'll be playing a specific scenario called hunting in the woods 20th of july 1989 as the battle rages in the windish invasion area the czechoslovakian 19 motor rifle division main force was relentlessly approaching skirting the area avoiding Weiden, the 19 motor rifle division advanced cross country towards the grafenhoen training area once it reached the b47 connecting Weiden to four Heim. The advancing forces entered a brief operational pause to regroup before following the road north to avoid Grafenwa itself. The area east and north of Grafenwa contained wooded hills with a Gug road and network and abundant crossing links over the area's water courses. It was ideally suited for this pause as it provided the advancing forces with natural cover to avoid aerial reconnaissance and suitable lines of fire to create secure defensive position. Fortunately for them, they would have not have a lot of time to benefit from this. Several local NATO forces had been following the 19th Division advance and had correctly determined they would advance to this area avoiding Weiden. They had also correctly determined that the Czechoslovakian would avoid the training grounds west of Grafenwo and swerve north to link up with the 20th Motor Rifle Division. The main problem facing NATO at this time was that getting coordinated response to the battlefield situation was still very challenging. Fact in interdiction, sabotage and jamming were exactly a heavy toll. As in other other areas, the local reaction was left up to the initiative of local commander. In this instance, the commander of the U.S. 1st Brigade, 1st Armored Division, patched all of the reports he received and quickly realized that swift action was required. He saw the risk of the 19th and 20th link-up, isolating the West German forces opposing them and decided to strike before this happened. All right, let's go. So we're going to be playing as the NATO commander, uh, and we're going to be playing as computer opponent. Now here you can adjust the game options, so you can adjust which units are always visible. For example, uh, in, in my test game this was all set up like this, which means that you will see all the enemy units, so we're going to leave it like this. You can change it so that you have like proper fog of war. I'm not going to do this because the game is quite complicated and it's easier to show things if I can actually see the enemy. So this is the hunting in the woods scenario. This scenario lasts four hours. Uh, this is very important because the way this game works is that here on the right you have this sort of timer and uh, as the, you're focusing on the uh, green part and every time this amount of time passes you will be able to give new orders. So you can give new orders. Now notice that this is continuously 15. This might change in future times so, so I want you to pay attention to that because that's going to be important. Uh, so the green ones are all of our units and the red ones are units that we can't uh, we, we can't see them right now like right now we do not know where the enemy is but because I turned the fog of war off we can actually see them right now uh, our mission briefing can click here into operation and finds out what we want to do so our goal is to block the Czechoslovakian advance at the Hayden Nav River along the B47 470 so we want to block them their advance through here or to wherever else they move, so we're going to go over there. Now, important thing in the game is you can look here at cover and you can see that these woods provide a really strong cover, so having units inside of these woods is actually quite useful because they won't be able to see us there, but we also won't be able to see them there. Related to cover, very important is if you click, if you click on a unit, like this one for example, and click Control L, you can see this thing here is its unit's line of sight. This area is in which we can identify units and this area in which it can classify units around, okay? You can right click on a unit, uh, actually no, that's not what I wanted to do, okay, first. Next you can click shift and you can click on other spots and you're going to be able to see the line of sight on that hex. So for example, we might be looking at this unit and we can see it only sees this very small area but it can identify into further if it can see somebody. You can see how this unit can see or not or where this, so for example, you can see that this unit is, should be capable of seeing all of us here. So we want to be, be careful when we're moving that we don't get hit by this. We need to move through the threes, for example. Uh, but what's important is as you're looking at these line of sights, you can, for example, see that um, 
you want to you wanna figure out where you want to place your units, right? Because we know that if we are kind of near the trees, we have good cover. But for example, this hex or this hex specifically, or these two hexes are great because we can see a huge part of the river and we can see these two objectives that we want to hold on to. So being on hex 40, uh, 49 and 47, or actually that's not the name of the hex, being on hex this one and this one is actually quite useful for us. And you, you have to hold shift in order to be able to see this, but you can see information. Another hex here, this one is pretty good, and these three are pretty good. So then you can click on your units and you can send them there. How do I know what unit is what and what should I do with it? Uh, you have a unit here, you can right click and you can click unit dashboard and this will give you some information about a unit. So here you can see this is American Infantry Platoon. Uh, this is uh, this is sort of, you can then click here on the subunits and you can see what subunits are on this specific X and you can click on a specific subunit as well and gain information like protection, what kind of weapons it has, sensors, systems, etc. Okay. You can also click here on the staff to see like some alerts and etc. And a unit lock to see like what happened if it was in combat or, or, or other things. You can also see ammo readiness and morale of the unit and range to HQ. HQs in this game are quite important because they give out orders. So if an HQ is destroyed, it's going to be harder for the units to do what they want. Uh, if you are kind of looking at this in a little bit like aren't sure, like there's a lot of information, you can look up here to see like it's, it's infantry or what kind of platoon it is so it can be pretty helpful you can also right click here and you can look at this unit role and this will uh, you can change this but uh, this will somewhat help you like tell what type of unit this is or i guess what it is the unit ma meant for maybe so this is a main effort unit so this is going to be unit that you're going to be using mostly to attack but there might be other units here like this one which is like overwatch so th this is an anti-tank unit and so the job of this is to sort of kind of try to see enemy tanks and hit them you know not normal anti-tank stuff you, you get what i mean anyway. So we got to give out orders, right? So we can right click and there are different ways you can move the, uh, many different things. This is sort of like the orders part of the stuff. So we can assault. Assault moves that you're going to be moving uh, quickly and aggressively and you're going to be trying to attack enemy units on the way. Move hasty means you uh, and you can go on road or off road. Move uh move deliberate means that you can still go off road so you're going to be trying to focus on being defensive but obviously if you still see an enemy you can shoot them and then move hasty is typically meaning that they will try to move through roads in order to get there quickly so how does this work so i let's say i want this infantry to be maybe not this one i want this unit this infantry to move here towards one of these really cool hexes that we learned about, which was, uh, sorry, that's not what I meant, which was this one. So I'm gonna tell you to move. So I, I can say move hastily here, and then it's gonna show you the path. But first you have to choose how, once you get there, what do you wanna do so you can hold? Uh, this means that it will try to find the best defense within the hex, or you can screen, which means it will try to find a cover and stand of one plus hex from the enemy. So this is the path it takes. You can also click and drag this. It will keep the hold information, but you can sort of change where you want it to go. You can also add multiple viewpoints if they're moving through a way that you don't like we can uh, set up uh, a different path. So I'm going to give tell this unit to move hastily, um, for example, here. Okay, so we can see how it's moving. Okay. What, what is this unit? This is, uh, a, so this is an HQ. So remember, you want to make sure that your HQ are very well protected. So I can move it deliberately. For example, here, this should give us a good cover, but we want to make sure that it's not like, um, too close to the enemies and uh, then you can sort of set up your your instructions like this so we're gonna go um, let me just quickly now how can you tell if you already gave out an order of a unit uh, you can see it here by this little arrow that arrow is essentially saying in which direction it's trying to move so it's, it's going to be aiming at the specific direction moving over there yeah, so you can see how they're moving around and whether they're even moving. 
Now this one, this is just an untied thing. We'll move it over there and we'll just go this way. Now I do have a mortar here, unit over here. So with this, you have slightly different possible instructions. So you can say on call, which means that you're going to be able to change its orders later. You can say barrage, so you can focus on suppression fire. So uh, if you're doing a suppression fire, they uh, it's more so that they can like attack back, but it's not really doing much damage. Neutralizing fire, or you can do visual blocking, so you can set up a smoke somewhere. For example, if I want it, because we we look actually we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this together. It's probably not the most efficient use of this, but I want to show you stuff about this game. So uh, we can see that this unit has a pretty good line of sight. So if I wanted to move these units up to attack at them from this direction, which is not really our objective, but let's say we wanted to do that. A good idea might be to set up a visual blocking, let's say here, so that they won't be able to see me. And here you can pick the number of rounds. So I can say, I want you to use 19 rounds on the first, uh, on the first like smoke type of ammunition. And this is what we want them to do. So we're going to apply this and we're going to be like, I need you to set up the smoke. And then we're going to sell, tell, tell these units to move deliberately, let's say up here. And then they're going to hold. So we want them to cover in that hex. Uh, this is, uh, what is this unit again? I apologize. This is a reconnaissance. Okay. So we're going to move the reconnaissance up as well a little bit. We're going to move, I'm going to move it a bit more into the, uh, on the cover you can go there you can also if if you want to see the cover all the time you can click on this and this way you can kind of see like okay this is gonna show me like what my cover is so so because we're doing that smoke we should be able to at least somewhat move upwards and fight there how well it's gonna go we'll find out but we can try now here at the beginning, I'm mostly going to be set up the movement. So we're going to jump a little bit ahead. I'm going to set up the movement that I want to do, and then we'll continue uh, together when that's done. Okay. All right. So I think I set up everybody. So I think we're ready at this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to click start here and the first 15 minutes of the game will elapse. You can pause at any time but you will not be able to give additional orders. Now we've gotten some electronic warfare and this is remember when I said at the start of the game to look at these 15 over here. Well, what electronic warfare does, it means that it will be changing the time it takes to send out orders. Essentially, it's a little bit more difficult to reach your people and to tell them what you want them to do. So it will slow down the command cycle. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer till we can actually do our task. So notice here what I'm doing is I shot up this smoke so that that unit up there won't be able to see me so well. Unfortunately it's still kind of shot over here so it's still sort of sauce but at least we tried right so we set up some smoke in the way. Again you might not want to go down this path I'm just like showing things off to you as much as I can in this way. So with our main uh, forces we're trying to move here in the middle towards Schwarzenbach so that we can um, we can sort of set up and defense then and get these main objectives uh, towards against the, whenever the enemy is going to come. Oh, okay. Uh, they were shooting an, um, an attack here. And maybe I should have placed the smoke straight up on them. That might have been a bit better. Now, because this is a Vigo, sometimes what can happen is that your units get a little bit jammed, like they're trying to, so they have to move out of the way. Uh, that's kind of normal because you're all giving them sort of these specific instructions. I think they're doing pretty well. They're actually quite moving quite well up within our 15 minutes where we're trying to get into position. Now again, which paths they're taking depends on whether we had used the move deliberate or hasty, which means they try to pick roads, which was actually a little bit problematic because they try to move through here even if they're trying to get in this area. Uh, as opposed to if you try to say like move to laboratory and that's what the waypoint are for you can just set up enough waypoint kind of stuff now, the interesting they're shooting through the smoke i'm assuming that it lowers their efficiency or something of that kind because or gives me extra cover setting up that smoke a lot all right now we've gotten some reinforcements down here 
got a reinforcement. So we can send this. Uh, this is, by the way, uh, uh, two stingers is what we got. And we can send it over wherever you want. So let's just go send it up here. Uh, don't really like that path thing. Let me try something else. How about you move here and then there and then there? How about that? Ah, okay, whatever. Fine. I think we should have said move deliberately from the beach moving off road, but well, whatever. Let's we'll stick to it. Uh, but yeah, okay, so now that we are moving our units a little bit closer, we're going to be able to uh, handle the objectives and, and handle stuff there. Now, with your main unit, uh, it's going to next, it's going to try to set up smoke over here. I could also try to say, hey, this time I want you to actually do neutralizing fire on this specific hex. There's slightly smoke in the way. And again, you can pick how many rounds. So you can say 80 rounds and the duration we're going to do this for... You can even say you want to do this for the whole 19 minutes, but I guess it means it's going to spread out uh, this one. And yeah, you can do it as well. But anyway, the point is you can add up some additional information, like how many losses you want to have and what kind of discipline and etc. But we're going to leave it like it is. We're just going to click apply. That's fine. Now, with these other units, uh, what you want to do is, again, you're going to be choosing between Assault, Move, Devil, and Move, Hasty, and if it sees an enemy, it's going to attack. So I can go, for example, I can say I want to attack their HQ, because if we manage to hit their HQ, now if you have a reconnaissance unit, which is not going to be great, but again, just bear with me, okay? I'm more showing you things than winning this game, okay? So uh, we could try to Assault there, but I don't think we're going to be able to get there in, in, in any reasonable time frame, but we can try. Uh, but the point is, it, it, again, if, if you try to ruin their HQ, it will make it a little bit easier for you to um, to attack them. Now, uh, some of these are still moving. Uh, if they haven't moved to their objective, they still have their previous uh, movement. So we can still sort of like keep that up. Uh, I am going to be moving this HQ deliberately up here. And this infantry, why, why won't you have anything to do? Why aren't you doing anything? Talk to me. You shouldn't be lazing around like this. I could move straight up, but that would make me die because there's no cover. So we're just going to try to move to a slightly more intelligent spot. Okay. Yeah, so we are going to set up this barrage. And here we're moving. Everybody else is still moving. You can also click down here on paths to be able to see the movement of everybody. So uh, I actually moved this unit over here because this is where you have that great line of sight. Uh, we could try to dig in. Uh, if you keep a unit within 30 minutes on the spot, they might be able to dig in for extra defense. Or what we could do is we could, again, we could say, I want you to assault this. Again, just to show you off, uh, we're gonna assault this artillery. <laughs> just, just, just no comments on that down here. Okay, we know not the smartest choice. It's fine showing stuff around. So we're gonna hit start here and we're just gonna go again. There's some units I didn't really well actually the HQs were pretty happy with them not being here. You can also here uh click on you can select unit uh, subordinates as a group. So you could also like look at that and we can also flash location HQ locations for units. For example, I could flash this is my HQ for that unit, so it's super far away, but whatever. So we're just gonna go. Okay, now this is an enemy artillery that has like an insane range. And I mean, the range on this is just crazy. Like, it's shooting there. Like, what? Kind of crazy. Ooh, that's actually not good because that's an HQ that I have there. So that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I think it moved out of the way. No, some of it got killed. Okay, never mind. But yeah, you can, you can see how big the range is. Uh, why is my barrage not shooting? My artillery not shooting? It's like lazing around. Come on. I want you to do... Okay, now? Okay, now we're shooting. No, it's shooting at me still. Okay, I was kind of hoping mine would go, but whatever. It has so many shots. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so now we're shooting with this rudder contact, but still, it's taking it forever.
seem to be very good at hitting exactly where we are. In my test game, I was a little bit more lucky. They hit a lot of spots where there was no one there. But not this time. Ain't that lucky this time. Okay, we're there then shooting, it seems. Okay, so now we are shooting at them, finally. I don't know how much damage we did, but we tried. Uh, you can't see combat results. Sometimes if you hover over this, it will just show you. And sometimes there's like a, like a window that will give you like the extra info. Uh, we have gotten the victory points, 550, because we have gotten on our objectives in the meantime. Yeah, you can see now they're shooting at a space where, where there is no one. Which obviously happens sometimes. And um, uh, yeah, because uh, this this time uh, order is like 19 minutes. Because like I said, it's taking a bit, a bit longer to send out these orders. So you won't be able to get give us out as many orders as you intended. Yeah, and you can see that we're still shooting because I said I want this to last to 19 minutes. And I've set up a little bit more rounds, so it's still sort of going. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, write down in the comments. You can click on the right towards some other games that you play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye!